Both Tokyo Tower and Sky Tree are both the top observatories here in Japan. One is older and shorter, and the other one more modern and taller. And if you could choose just one, the choice should be fairly easy, right? They both have very unique views of the city and other differences that we'll explore together. So follow me. Sky Tree was built back in 2012, and at 2,090 feet, it is the tallest tower and the second largest structure in the entire world. Getting the Sky Tree is relatively easy. Just head towards Oshiage Station, and once you're out of the station, just follow the signs towards Sky Tree. It's about a 10 minute walk, so it's not that bad. But for those coming from the popular Yamanote line, you may need to take up to three trains to get here. There isn't much to do outside of this area, but if you feel like walking, Sensoji, Tokyo's most famous temple, is about 25 minutes away. As far as location goes, I give Sky Tree three out of five points. It's in an all right area and relatively easy to get here, but it's certainly a little away from other tourist spots. Lines can get absurdly long, so be prepared for some waiting time. But there is a fast track ticket for tourists who are willing to pay a little bit extra. Normally the price is $2,060, but if you do the fast track option, it will cost you $3,000 yen total. And if you want to go to the Tembo Galleria, which is all the way up, you're going to be paying a thousand yen extra on top of that. While the system does keep everything in order, and that's one of the things that I love most about Japan, unless you're willing to pay a little extra or come really early in the morning, the queuing times can just be too much. So, as far as queuing time goes or wait time, I give Sky Tree two and a half points. So, the last rating point is for value. Is the view and the atmosphere worth the price I paid? Let's find out. Sunset is the best time to come, but midday is not that bad either. Besides skipping out on the mass of lines that you get at sunset, the sun is right above us and hitting the light all evenly and lighting everything up and not directly in our faces. <laughs> Because we're so far up, it almost feels like we're in a plane looking down. It's definitely a unique view of all of Tokyo, but since the view is so wide, you lose a lot of details in the features and buildings in the city skyline. On the other hand, the amount of people that are here right now is perfectly fine, but it can be complete chaos during more popular hours, and I can see why. Overall, I give Sky Tree three and a half points for value. Definitely an amazing place to visit with an incredible view of the city. Just don't expect to have a frustration free experience. Now, let's go over to Tokyo Tower and see how different it is from here. Tokyo Tower was built back in 1958, and at 1,092 feet, it's only around half the size of Sky Tree, but it is still the second tallest structure here in Japan. Getting here requires a bit of a walk. Okay, let's be honest a long 20 minute walk if you're coming from the popular Yamanote subway line. But luckily, this area is great. It's close to Shiba Park, a lot of great temples and shrines that you can visit before or after going to Tokyo Tower. Not to mention, how cool is this pathway that I'm walking on right now? It's filled with color and just really cool ambience, at least in my opinion. So, regardless of the walk, I give Tokyo Tower three and a half points for location, as you can get here by using only one train, and there's lots to do and see around. Queuing here is much more straightforward. You wait in a single line and you purchase your entrance ticket for only 900 yen. 
but I give Tokyo Tower four points because you can very easily make your reservation online and come during your designated time frame. The only drawback is that reservations are only available for those purchasing the higher level access to the top deck. It's 2800 yen and you even get a little tour of the place. The most recommended time to visit Tokyo Tower is during dusk or after sunset as we are in the financial district. We get to see all of these big buildings light up and the view is just mesmerizing. My time here in Tokyo Tower has been incredible, but it's definitely not just about the view. It's about Japanese culture and the history of this important landmark. I give Tokyo Tower 4.5 points for value. This place is magical as it is informative and the entrance fee is not that expensive. I can honestly say that I had double the amount of fun in comparison than at Skytree. So that's it. Go ahead and drop a comment below on which tower appeals to you more and if you've already visited one of these, go ahead and share your experience. Until next time. Midday is a perfect time to come. Besides, ah, sorry. Besides avoiding.